What up, it's your boy Dust back here again with another video. And today we are here with Hunter Hunter, episode 37. Last episode, we had a conclusion to uh, our our fight with Hisoka. And real quick, I only realized this after I stopped the recording for last episode. But who the fuck was that shiny dude? He just showed up, and we never saw him again. <laughs> Like was that? I, I'm 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 gonna hope that it's some. And he don't seem like a very important character either. He just showed up. He's like, yeah, real pretty in this bitch. And he just he, he ain't never saw him again. I don't know if that was like a bit or like that's a character to who the f who who. Why did he show up like that? I don't know why. Like it just randomly popped into my mind. I was like fuck was that nigga i don't know i don't know um anyway we have a lot of work to do we're going back to wales uh wales city Wales island whatever um and gonna get some r and r gonna go meet up with our matriarch and um it's, it's i think this is gonna be a chill episode hopefully not a, a recap but hey if it is we'll just skip it so, we're going to hop straight into it. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all those. So if you're just a lurker, I appreciate you too. If you have any requests, whether it be more Hunter Hunter or something totally different, the best place in that in is always my social media. Link's going to be in the description, or you can comment down below. Um, and if you want these episodes early, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Link's going to be in the description for that as well. So, with all that being said, uh, let's get our headphones. Make sure they're on. Them bitches is on and let's just get into it in three two one go what's going on yeah we ain't ready for him where is the shiny dude like he was so fucking weird i just don't i, I just don't get it like he just showed up he, he was just, hold on, let me turn this down real quick. Because, like, I don't know why I'm so confused about him. But it only, like, as soon as I stopped the recording, I was like, wait a fucking minute. What was that dude just sitting there and sparking and glistening in his own destiny for? Where 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 did he come from? I, I, it felt like, he felt like one of those, he, this, sounds, this, this sounds very specific, but he would have him to me in Pokemon all the time. I'm pretty sure anybody else has, has played Pokemon. This has happened to, happened to them as well. Where you're playing Pokemon, you're having a great time, and a character shows up that you're just like, you're weird, and you never see him again. <laughs> and you're just like, why, why does he exist? Why did that character exist? Why is he here? Why would, when will I ever see him again? And you go through the whole like game, and you never see that character again. And you're just like, why did he exist? Like I, I that, that that's that's what that guy sent, seemed like to me, where he just, why do you exist? I, I whatever, bro. Okay. Right. Little Mito or Mito, forgot her name. Me too. Okay. What's good? Got my RN. I got my RN card. Certified RN. Six certified RN. See, I got my nigga with me. I already know what time it is. Who the fuck is Jing? Ging.
I said I would have whipped up the whole dinner. Oh shit. Okay, facts. Ah. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. My dog said, hurry the fuck up. Oh damn, she whipped up the fucking grub. Damn. Bitch, you got meatballs on salad? That's crazy. And fish and pancakes, nigga, what the fuck going on? I didn't say what the fuck is that? What in the fuck? How'd you make all this? This fucking fa you got broccoli, baby tomatoes, quiche, butter sticks, sandwiches, meatballs, and pancakes. How in God's name, bro? Ah, what you doing? Damn. I mean, some food? Y'all just fed? Y'all just fed them enough to feed a whole country? What else do they need? Oh, that was cool as fuck. Damn, this is a nice-ass island. I ain't about to lie, though. Get his dumbass, get his dumbass, get his dumbass. We eating that too, with pancakes. The fuck? You ain't getting none of our food though, nigga. Fuck I look like. I mean, they built different. Damn! I'm, how much food you got at your house? What the fuck going on? That's a good question. I mean, obviously. Yeah, R&R. &R, then we gotta get back to training. All right. Forgot about that. What do you mean? All right, you don't really have a clear path. You just kind of want to have fun. I think this is a good conversation to have, though, because, like, that's something that we've. Hey, man, that's all. I mean, if that's all y'all want to do, then that's a good enough. That's a good enough uh, plan. Good enough goal. Just to kick it with your homeboys.
Yeah. Right, that's a good enough goal. Just traveling together, killing niggas together, eating pancakes. Fuck it. Good enough. Okay, that's good enough. Like I said, that's that's something that we've been kind of asking ourselves for a while now. It's like, now what do we do next? And like the whole thing is like, this is an adventure, but like, you still got to ask that question. I don't think this is mom, is it? Oh. I guess we never really talked about his mom. Damn. Okay. Who happened to your mom? I think it's something we've never actually really talked about. Right. Okay. I mean, that's all that matters. Okay. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a un. Hey, that's a good that's a good mom to have. <laughs> that's nice. That's that's just that's nice. Hey man, that's real shit. And she went all the way out there just to give her just to give him food. That's real shit. Respect. Mm. Not too long. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I gotta go out there and start beating ass again. I'm beating ass. And when I find him, I'm beating his ass. Why is she so against it, though? Outside of just like, oh, I don't want you to become a hunter because it's. Oh, Gene is his dad, right? I'm such a fucking idiot. Okay, hold up, nigga. Hold up. Shut the fuck up. Hang on. Okay, facts. Oh, okay, so Mido is Gon's cousin. Second cousin. How does that work? Okay. Man, he was already whipping the motorcycle at 12? Okay. <laughs> Why does that? Why does Gon's dad look cooler than Gon? That's funny. Ah. Oh. Damn.
the fuck is up with this? This family just disappearing. Damn. It's tough. Okay. Yeah, why you so why you still look so cool? Oh. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? That is fucked up. Man left. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of fucked. My man disappeared, came back for the kids, said, hey, take care of this. Fuck, is this a puzzle? <laughs> yeah, you don't really want to get rid of it, do you? Okay. So the mystery of Gon's dad is is now fresh in my mind again. Okay. That's good information. I mean, you don't know him for real, so why would you call him dad? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, that's a good question to ask, actually. Oh, fuck. Okay. It was a good question, though. <laughs> that man, that man came back empty handed. I do wonder, like, cause. We have so little information on Jing that, like, I don't, I, I don't know what to make of why he did what he did outside of just like I wanted to become a hunter, so I went out and I became a hunter. But like, it seems that other people know him, and to the point of like, oh, that's a not like a oh, that's a legend. Like they know him as like oh, that's a governmental like. We can't fuck with that nigga for real, cause like he got he know people on the inside. Like I don't know, man. I there just seems to be something more important to Jing than just like oh he was the strongest, and I don't even think he was the strongest. Like we don't even know that if he were this like strong or something. It just seems some seem to be like there's something more important. Well, when you shake it around, nothing like nothing rattles in it or anything. So I'm guessing it's like a letter or something. Maybe like a letter from Jing. Him being he brought it back with him. Just fucking break it. Yeah, that's why I would have did. Holy fuck, Gilda can't even break it. It's probably just like a letter from Jing. 
him being like, yo, this is why I did it. I would hope that's what's in there. Right. It has to be paper. Right. Do you? Which is using then Oh What? Wait. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, wait, what what are you using your hunter license? <laughs> right, so use your NIN to open it. Okay. Hmm. Oh shit. Okay. What we got? Another box. Lovely. Thick. Love that. Oh. oh okay oh maybe actually oh wow okay so you're right Oh no, it's Oh, it is a message, but it's just it's not a letter, it's a literal message. Yeah, it's the same. What the fuck? Okay. Right. That's that's a good idea. <laughs> the anticipation is killing me. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Okay, so how? How? I don't get Jing, bro. I, I honestly don't get Jing at all, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Like, what's the reason? That's crazy.
<laughs> okay. So, actually, really glad we we watched that. Um, really glad we watched that episode. Um, I was afraid that it was gonna be like a filler recap kind of thing, but we, while it was a lot more uh, slow paced, it was a very quiet episode. A lot of uh, information that is pretty vital to our next task, which is finding finding Jean. Now, Jean so far has been an enigma. We don't really know anything about Jean, and from the beginning, we only knew that he just stepped out to be a hunter, never came back, never came back. Um, and the only time we had heard something about Jean was in a more like wasn't in a like oh my god the Jean the the devil or Jean the the strongest hunter we. It was like, a, oh, you know Jean, or you're the son of, or you're the son of Jean. Wow, okay, that okay. So that's the, they carry the two. Right. It was almost like a Jean was somebody like very high up, or very somebody that's very uh, integral to the way that uh, the the world works today. He seemed like the unsung hero of um, of some sort of story behind the scenes of how the government works or something like that um i'm gonna have to go back to that episode to truly grasp what exactly the the proctor was like ta saying about gene um because i do remember when he was talking about gene he was like i almost told him and the other guy whoever he was talking to was like yo you know you can't or the girl whoever it was like you, you something like you know you can't tell him about that or something it was something very shady um it wasn't like you know like i said it wasn't like a oh his dad's dead kind of thing or his dad is um the evil villain of, of everything kind of thing it simply seemed like oh we can't fuck up the plan kind of kind of thing i guess um like i said jing has been a, a, an enigma we don't have a lot of uh, information on him. however in this episode we did get a good amount um for one jing or jing is just uh, mito's uh cousin jing apparently left when he was 12 um came back with a kid we don't know anything now the bigger enigma which i highly and i mean like highly doubt we will ever know anything about is his mom who apparently we know nothing about so like we could say that she's dead or whatever but we know absolutely nothing about it. and while that is like a lot like a lot of story potential to be like okay let's go find his mom but in this episode, it seemed very clear that the story was saying it doesn't really matter who his mom is because his mom is uh, Mito. Like, that that's who is really his mom. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of story potential for, like, finding out who Hil or Hil or Gon's real mom is. But the way that this episode went, it was more of just saying, yeah, don't worry about Hilo's mom or Gon's mom. Uh, we're more focusing on his dad. Now, speaking about moms, um, got to give a little bit of respect on on Mito's name because let's be real, she is a really good mom, right? She's like she is a fantastic mom. Not only that, but like he has pretty much like Jing came back, Jing left, came back with a kid, and was like, "Take care of this nigga." Un unexpected Mito is probably about to go live her life and he came back it's like yeah take care of him what I would be pissed too if, if I were if I were Mito I can't even like be I can, I completely understand her vague disdain for for Jing it's not like a, oh I hate his guts or I never want to see him again it was it's a vague disdain for Jing that's like that, that dickhead you know and I can't blame him because the for him to come, for him to go over there, have a kid, bring him, bring the kid back and say, take care of him. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. And, and Jing knows it. Um, and I'm sure like Jing has his reasons or whatever, but damn it. 
it's some bullshit okay that is that is some bullshit um we we don't have a lot of of information while we did get good information on jing we still don't have a lot of information on jing the ending of this episode is what really sells the potential of the information that we may get though um this is this is our new lead because now with him ending it saying do you want to see me is now we're getting into something now here's the thing we don't know what he means by it by that it could mean i'm already dead do you want to come see like my body that's that's it's dark i don't but i, I don't think that jing is dead um some just tell me that he's not dead um i think he i don't even think he's in a rough spot specifically i think he's just he wherever he is it's so vital to an overarching plan that he's like i can't go anywhere else um so i don't think he's dead i mean he could be dead but i don't think he's dead um so whatever this lead is that we're about to get in this next episode is going to be our our new overarching mission i'm very excited to see what that exactly is um a little bit on the conversation that Killua and gone had uh by the fires that you know for a while now we've been asking ourselves like all right we're at heaven's arena and all this other shit what do we do now because every time they'd be like oh hey you want to become a floor master or you can become a floor master if you get do all this or hey you can go fight in olympia and it would always be like don't really feel like it and i completely understand like they're they're not i don't care i don't want to fight there but the overarching like thought or question is, so what do you do? And of course it's, I wanna go find my dad, but for Killua, he just kinda wants to have fun. And you know, he, all his life, he's just kinda been, you're gonna take over the family assassin, assassination business and shit's gonna be wild and you're gonna love it, all this other stuff. But that's not, you know, for as long as Killua has known, that's not really what he's wanted to do. He's been very bored of it. And once he got out, you know, out of the house, went and met Gone, he finally started to have some fun. And the thing is, is that as much as, you know, it, it's cool to have a clear path and stuff like that. And even Killa would say, like, I'm very, it's very admirable that you have an actual uh, goal in mind. You want to go find your dad. You want to, you know, you want to hit Hisoka in the face. You know, you had a goal in mind. I'm just here to have fun. And when it comes to what his Gon's reply is basically boiled down to, but if you're having fun and if we're having fun, that's a good enough goal. You know, like that, it doesn't have to be some grand, let me go find my great grandfather, you know, plan that Hillel has to have. It could simply be that, it, you know, like he said, are you having fun when, when we're together? Yes, that's good enough. That's good enough, you know? Um, and yeah, that's, it's true that's good enough you don't have to be out there riding around getting it with with uh with killer or gone and kill or gone and kurapika you know fighting fighting some greater evil like they like they or like kurapika is or gonna go find a lost family member like gone is you don't have to do that if your goal or if your you know wants are just to chill with these people and have fun totally fine completely fine there's nothing wrong with that that's a fair goal um so i would hope that killua kind of takes that to heart a little bit because killua still has a bit of that um i don't want to call it angst but a bit of that darkness with him where he's like you know i've just been i've all all my life i've just kind of been treated as a future killer a future assassin i just want to have fun fine let that be your goal. Let that be what drives you, is to just have fun. That's completely valid. And I'm glad that uh, Gon was able to drive that home for uh, Killua, for Killua and be like, okay, that's valid. You're having fun. Cool. You, 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 you did it. You've, you, you've reached your goal and you can continue to reach that goal and, and further that goal and all the other stuff. You did it. Great. Cool. Let's continue to do it fine that's good that's good i'm glad that he he drove that home for killer um 
because you know you can't you can't just be out there um you know killing you can't manufacture a goal like that uh so i'm glad that he he at least has that to think about um what else what else what else i think that's about all all that happened this episode um outside of just you know the conversation that we had with like uh mito and Killua and everything a lot of this episode is opening up a lot more questions uh but i feel like we're going to get a good amount of leads in this next episode so really it's just going to be a what happens what kind of information do we get in this next episode um i've given up on trying to figure out within this episode i've given up on trying to figure out who the sparkly guy is i don't think we're ever going to figure that out now now that i gave that pokemon analogy i just thought about it i was like i never figured out what those people are all about so i'm not going to figure out what this sparkly guy is about <laughs> so it doesn't matter um but this was a good episode slower pace um but still a good episode i'm not gonna lie um i think we after the last episode we kind of deserve a slower pace episode where we can just like reestablish our um overarching goal so great episode really enjoyed it um if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff you just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more hunter hunter or something totally different the best place to send that in is always my social media uh, link's going to be in the description, or you can comment down below. That's cool, too. Uh, if you want these episodes early, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Link's going to be in the description for that as well. So, with all that um, said, I'll get my off button ready. Y'all, stay amazing, stay safe, and take care of yourselves.